guys welcome back to my channel so today I wanted to bring you a quick spring tutorial look but also kind of discuss about what is a youtuber's journey like for someone like myself who is just starting out on my journey and tips and hopefully inspiration to keep on going with YouTube is next <music> I just kind of wanted to talk about um, you know my experience with YouTube which is not a lot <laughs> but there are some lessons learned um, things that I didn't know starting out and the difficulties and struggle of being a youtuber this is the L'Oreal infallible 24-hour fresh wear foundation okay, I'm gonna use the Smashbox photo finish water primer so if you have dry skin this is really good for your face Normally, I would go in with a mattifying primer as well, but since we're going for a kind of like a glowy look today, I thought I would skip on that. I was trying to think about myself. What is it about makeup that makes me different from everyone else? I don't do wing liner. I don't kick on a bunch of foundation on my face. The type of makeup that, I, that I'm going to be doing on my channel is more of like a, um, an elevated natural look if that makes sense so you're gonna see color I love putting color on my face I love to match the color of my outfit or my blouse or my shirt to the color of my eyes I mean I've worn blue eyeshadow before to work and I remember a good friend of mine and co-worker said hey I like how you made that blue wearable it didn't stand out as much but it worked not that you can't be professional with you know blue eyeshadow okay do your own thing whatever works for you is good but for me i like you know natural makeup i wanted to talk about um my experiences here with youtube and um overall how my expectations were totally different from what really is happening in reality when I started YouTube, I was going in for the money and not really like to make big bucks because I mean, how do I compete with all those people that are 10 million subscribers? And here I am with 35, right? 35 subscribers and I'm very grateful for everyone that this subscribed to my channel and I hope you continue watching me. At the time, I didn't know the implications of having a YouTube channel. Two years ago, I've already wanted so much to start a YouTube channel, I, but I didn't. I was too afraid. I was thinking I didn't know enough. Just thinking about, you know, my friends who are normal people that did their own makeup on a day-to-day -day basis in college. You know, I just knew what could I possibly offer to them. And if I can't please those people in my life, then how can I please um, others that don't really know me on a personal level? I wanted to share my um, love for makeup, but at the same time, I wanted to experience what the other YouTubers were experiencing, getting free makeup. That's what I like, trying makeup, trying to see what works for me, what works best for my skin tone, um, high end or low end. I really didn't want to be a makeup artist, I wanted to collect makeup for myself. I wanted to play with makeup. That was what made me happy. By the way, I'm just using a combination of powders, but this one is the Ciate London um, Translucent Powder, which I love to use for baking. I got that in my FabFitFun box. I'm also using the uh, Derma Blend powder for the rest of my face. Oh, so I put an eye primer, by the way. I just got my new MAC paint pot in soft ochre. Yep, I like to use a damp beauty blender to apply the um, eyeshadow primer. So we're gonna do kind of like a pinky natural makeup. I think I'm gonna stick to my Desi and Katie Frankation palette. And it looks like this with a Morphe 441 brush. And I'm gonna go into this warm brown right here. I was saying that when I started YouTube, I didn't have a game plan. And I don't think you're supposed to when you're starting out. 
but I realized that you can't get by showing what other YouTubers already have showed. I'm going with this raspberry color here. You have to be different. And it shouldn't be that hard, right, to be different. Everybody is unique in their own special way. But it took me a couple of weeks to realize, to kind of understand what direction is my YouTube channel going. I had to have a focus. If you start a YouTube, you really have to have a strong focus on what it is your channel is about. A big part of that is understanding who you are. And I think I didn't know. I said I was going to talk about makeup, but makeup is too broad. How do you stand out? How do you become different from someone like all those Instagram photos with the wing eyeliner and the fancy lighting and, you know, the beautiful faces. There's so many beautiful people out there. You just can't compete. What is it that I had that I could bring that was different? Um, understanding who my audience is what does my audience like to see and that takes a while because you have to put out multiple videos until you realize oh they like to watch this it seems like a lot of people love to see um, in my channel loves to see a good deal drugstore makeup that performs like high-end and so that's what I'm trying to give to everybody but at the same time you know you need to put out the content that you want content that interests you. So at like, this point, I like to go in with this color right here. I think just a kiss. And it really is just a kiss. Yeah. It's so glowy. And yet, it's sheer. It's also a nice eyeshadow topper. It's very natural. So back to being a YouTuber, you really have to know yourself. You really have to understand what it is your content is going to be about. Um, but it shouldn't stop you from starting. Going to my Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette um, using the color Champagne Truffle right here. Normally, I like to go nude. I think, you know what, I'm going to go nude. I didn't know what editing software to use. <laughs> I shot a video and didn't know how I was gonna edit it. I was like, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it because that's how you get started. You just have to go in and do it. My first two videos, I didn't have a an iPad stand. I don't have the camera. I'm not using a Canon camera like every other professional YouTuber is using. We'll do this brown eyeliner from Laura Geller. Until now, I'm using iMovie as an editing software. It works for me. Later on, I realized that you can go into YouTube and download some songs. And now I have a better library of songs that I could use for my videos. I like to put the eyeliner again halfway at the top of my lashes to kind of give that lifted eye effect. Kind of giving it a simple wing liner. It's not even a wing. It's like a line <laughs> I don't know <laughs> what to call it okay I need to take off this big or else it's gonna start looking old on me 99% of the time I just put a brow gel because I pretty much have enough hair to kind of give me that that shape um, what other tips can I share finding ways to get your name out there is kind of hard we'll see a lot of promotions like paid promotions that you could do to get your name out there to get more views i always see these ads saying for ten dollars your video can reach five thousand people i think i want to try it but i want to have enough videos on my youtube channel in order for it to be profitable for me so that i'll have a better return they're gonna see oh this person has three videos two of them are are propped up on a stack of books that's not gonna get them to subscribe and that's not gonna get them to stay so i'm trying to build a library of really good quality videos first before i invite a bigger audience okay. i'm going in with the Milani um, Baked Blush in the color Luminoso. This is like an, a nice pink, but glowy pink. See, you can kind of see 
there's a little bit of a sheen to the blush and I like this pink but it's a wearable pink even for darker skin tones like myself don't start um, when you think you have all the best equipment you have all the perfect lighting um, you have the perfect background I'm in a corner in my master bedroom <laughs> you know but it works um, just get started um, get better at editing get faster at editing just keep throwing videos out there. And also another rule that I made for myself was I had a schedule. I had a schedule to um, do a video every Wednesday. I was gonna put out a video every week, no matter what, whether I had work, whether I got busy, I was gonna put out a video. I promised myself to learn something new, some kind of editing or networking um, rule, just tools that's gonna make my editing my videos a lot better i promised myself that i'd learn one every week and apply it to that video so that people can see that continually my videos are improving and getting better my favorite highlighter from becca which is in the color yeah opal and i'm using a morphe r36 brush just blending that in a little bit on the tip of my nose just a little bit maybe right here because this is a dark area for me so i like to highlight there and don't highlight places that that aren't gonna make you look good like on my chin i get oily there a lot so i don't put any highlight there i just wait for the natural highlight to come pretty much <laughs> once i get oily i'm gonna have that natural shine and it's gonna be okay with makeup you know there aren't really any rules you have to find the right tools the right technique that works for your eyes for your nose shape for your face shape for your skin tone makeup is very um subjective it's really different from person to person but have fun with it that's what makeup is all about you know what i like is returning them you can return anything at sephora or ulta i don't want to encourage that and you know make a habit of buying and returning try to do your best to get what's what you really want um but if it doesn't work out you know you don't have to worry about it yeah get better with lighting get better with your thumbnail if it's not very interesting if it's too dark if it's not bright enough if the title isn't interesting people aren't going to click on your video really there's a lot of competition out there but don't get discouraged and just keep going i like to use my elf small tapered brush looks like this oh my gosh it's crooked <laughs> it's about to come apart see how that brightened my under eyes instantly mm -hmm. i'm using a lampshade to do lighting for myself in my house there's a lot of windows you know depending on the type of video you just have to work with it and find the best location a good software for thumbnails is canva.com and it's free so i use that a lot it has templates for thumbnails so it's a nice easy tool for beginners another tip is that work with what you have first don't buy and buy and buy youtube does not pay anymore guys you have to have a thousand subscribers and um like four hours of watch time i kind of wish i knew that beforehand actually i did know it youtube policy on monetization on monetization i can't pronounce that youtube policy on making money was gonna be changing i didn't know how badly it was going to affect youtubers uh that are just starting out i cannot put my camera on and talk when i first started youtubing and making videos i expected several views i expected i would receive the support from friends and family um it doesn't work that way people aren't going to subscribe right away unless they see something interesting or a lot of the people that are in my circle of friends and community are people that aren't really into makeup that aren't pe are people that aren't really into watching youtube and they're like what's youtube you know and how do i subscribe or one of the videos that i made which was a l'oreal and makeup revolution foundation review i put in hours on that and not to mention the time i took to put on the 
the foundation on other days and then to like monitor it throughout the day take pictures and kind of document my experience or my thoughts on the on the product and when i uploaded the video it had six views for like a week and i was devastated and after that low you know point in my life i realized this and it's good to realize it early hold on let me hold back my tears i'm spraying with the urban decay all-nighter Ooh, i love it i love setting sprays i wish i could have one from every brand okay so i was saying forget about making money forget about subscriber count forget about views just do the videos that you love to do and start making it and make it the best way you can you know put some love in it but at the same time don't overwhelm yourself if a video didn't make enough views just try again and make a better video i used to spend a big part of my day constantly looking at the views the numbers um, while I'm folding while I'm doing the dishes and when the numbers didn't change I would be so frustrated or I would have doubts about myself because I was thinking I wasn't good enough this isn't gonna go anywhere I'm putting so much time and effort um, into making videos but nobody's watching it and I don't make any money <laughs> When you start making videos, you have to enjoy it. You have to love the idea of sharing your knowledge with people and not getting really anything in return. So you have to do what you love. Make videos that make you happy, but also know that you have subscribers that want to see you and learn from you. Try not to get fixated on the numbers and just keep working hard. Hopefully together we can succeed in this YouTube world. I wanted to record this journey because a lot of the people who are making videos like these, they're already at a million subscribers. It's so hard to go from five subscribers to 35 subscribers. And two years ago was different from now. This is not to discourage you, but really use YouTube as a tool to showcase what you love and have fun with it. So that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video or learned something. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And also, if you're new here, I hope that you subscribe to my channel so that you can watch more future videos such as these. And hope to see you back in my corner soon. Bye!